Hi folks, Dave here, AF5DN, and I want to talk to you today about <clears throat> a possible ham radio urban legend known as the handheld counterpost or tiger tail or rat tail. It goes by a variety of different names, but essentially it is just a two meter uh, 19 and 5 16 inch length of wire with a little adapter on the end of it that attaches to your handheld radio right at the base here and the concept is that it adds uh, a little bit of ground plane if you will uh, to the radio and increases your performance now I'm not going to show you how to make this because there's a lot of other videos that show you how to make this. This is like ridiculously simple. This was scrap stuff I had out in the garage. Just a little connector and a little piece of wire. This is 12 gauge uh, multi-strand wire. Alright. I wanted to put this to a real world test. I know I've seen the videos out there where they key up their watt meter and they're all right close together and things look really great. You're really going to get some fantastic performance out of this thing. This is what I did. I found a repeater that I was just on the verge of being able to talk to it using a handheld. This is a Osan radio, handheld radio. <clears throat> now with this radio and this antenna I could key up and the repeater would not acknowledge that I was transmitting. Depending upon the repeater you may get a variety of different Fun, uh, responses when you key into it. This particular repeater has two functions. If the repeater hasn't communicated for a long time and you first key it in, it will send out its uh, uh, identification using Morse code. If it has done that and, and the time isn't quite right, when you key up and let off, you'll hear a distinctive uh, ch beep or a end of transmission beep from the repeater, not from your handheld. So my test was to see if this could improve the performance of this radio. So here's the test I did. I had somebody monitoring the repeater that I know could hear the repeater very well. Because <clears throat> I have a, a mobile radio in my Jeep that can hit this repeater perfectly fine. It's just these guys will not. So here's the deal. I took this radio, key it up, let off, the repeater does not acknowledge that I even keyed it. I added this to this antenna, keyed it up, the repeater did not acknowledge that I had keyed up the radio. So what's that telling me? That tells me at this point that this with this antenna did not make a significant enough difference for the situation that I was in. Now I also tried this on my favorite HYS radio, same thing. Keyed it up, repeater would not acknowledge the radio, added this to it, still would not acknowledge the radio. Alright, so what do we do next? We took this radio <coughs> and got rid of the factory antenna because as we all know antenna is 99% of your communication. And I added this Comet aftermarket antenna uh, to the radio which as you can see here, let me see if I can back up. Okay. Significant difference between the two antennas. <coughs> now with this antenna I could key the radio the repeater would acknowledge my my uh, key. We hear a little shh, beep, but my voice was not coming through well enough to be distinguishable. In fact, you couldn't hear anything. The only per thing the person on the other end could hear is that someone keyed the radio, and that's it. It didn't matter how hard I yelled into this thing; it wasn't getting there. I tried the same thing on this radio, my handy HYS radio with the same antenna and got the same result. Now I added this with this big old honking antenna. 
my results were slightly different this time. With the big antenna and the ground wire, ground plane wire, I was able to key the repeater and at least the person on the other end could hear some garbled video, garbled audio and could acknowledge that it was a person even though it was they could not understand what I was saying. So here's the the rundown. Factory radio antenna could not key the radio. Aftermarket antenna could key the repeater, but no audio. With the ground wire could key the uh, the repeater with garbled audio. So that leaves me to believe that yes, this thing may kind of sort of almost help, maybe a little bit, but it's certainly not all that it's cracked up to be. I mean, there's claims that you're getting 12 dB gain out of handling this thing, and where you once needed 5 watts, now you only need 2. I have my serious doubts about any of that. The fact of the matter is, this may help a teeny, teeny, tiny little bit. The biggest change was adding a aftermarket antenna. A better option would be to get a uh, like a magnetic base antenna and put on your car or something like that. Okay, so that is my take on the ground plane wire counter post tiger tail rat tail whatever you want to call it gizmo that people are so talking about these days. That's it for me. Thanks for watching.